Hey everyone, it's Aries JJ we're back with you. Uh, today we're going to discuss battery safety. Uh, it's a very important uh, item that needs to be covered, especially with all the news stories that have been going on. So we're going to discuss battery safety, uh, how to look to see if a battery needs to be wrapped. Uh, we will go over the proper techniques of rewrapping a battery in the event that your battery wrap is damaged and cover some general safety items. So let's go ahead and head on over to the build station and we'll see what all we need. Okay, so we've got the basic tools here. Now, some of these are going above and beyond, but uh, these are the tools that you're going to need to, uh, to handle your batteries. Uh, first and foremost, you're going to need replacement wraps. Now, these can be found at a number of places. Uh, IMR Battery sells them. Batwrap.com sells them. I mean, there's a, a couple of different places where you can locate these, and they're not expensive. Uh, insulators. Uh, in the event that your insulators are torn or just generally damaged, uh, insulators are always nice to have on hand uh, in case that replacement comes up. Obviously, you'll need your batteries. Now, you'll notice that I have mine stored in a battery case. Any loose battery should always be stored safely in a battery case. This includes if you are out and about traveling and just have your batteries, you don't want to put your batteries loose in your pocket with your change or your keys because uh, metal can connect these batteries together and cause them to short out and vent on you. You don't want to be the next news story. Invest in a couple of, uh, of battery cases. They're not expensive and they can and will save your life. Uh, additionally, we'll need some, pl some uh, pliers and snips just to get the battery wraps off. Uh, a hair dryer or a heat gun uh, to shrink down the battery wraps and a pair of scissors just in case uh, your battery wraps need to be uh, adjusted for length, which in the ones that I do have to be adjusted slightly. Uh, now, you'll notice that I've got a magnet here and a ceramic rod. Uh, the magnet is nice to have on hand. Uh, this way you can sweep your work area to see if there's any metal fragments around because you don't want medical uh, metal around your batteries while the battery wraps are off of them uh, to prevent them shorting out. The ceramic rod I just have so I can point out a few things uh, when we actually get the wrap off so you can see firsthand what's going on. So let's go ahead and clear out this area a little bit and we can start working on getting these battery wraps off. First and foremost, I'm going to sweep my area for any little metal fragments because this is where I do my coil builds. So I'm just going to sweep my area to see if any metal is around. There we go. And of course, we did pick up a couple little spare fragments here and there. So, and that's why we do this is, you know, safety first. So we've got our batteries here, and we can see that we've got a fairly noticeable uh, little ding in the battery wrap right there. We've got a little bit of discoloration here. Uh, the bottom is a little gnarled up. Uh, we've got a little sm slow little uh, slice right there. Tops are a little marred up, but not horribly. But uh, yeah, this wrap definitely needs to be changed. If you notice discoloration, if you notice cuts, uh, if there's damage to the insulator, uh, if you've got marring uh, at the negative post or marring around the wrap at the top, uh, you know, the positive post, you want to replace the wrap. So let's go ahead and take a look at the other one. And we see again, we've got some, uh, some marring around the, uh, the, the negative terminal wrap. Uh, we've got a, con a considerable amount of marring done to the uh, wrap at the positive terminal. And... That looks about it, but we're going to go ahead and replace it as well, just to, to be consistent. So we're going to put these in the case to hold off on the side, and we're going to get our tools ready. Now, to get the wraps off, you're going to have to do some slicing on the battery wrap itself. Uh, a pair of wire snips or a small screwdriver, like a precision screwdriver, um, is ideal to get these off. You don't want to use anything sharp. Uh, extremely sharp that can risk puncturing so always be careful whenever you're taking the uh, the wrap off of the battery now I think that I can get this one off just by carefully using the snips so I'm just going to gently cut into this there we go and I think that's all I'm gonna need I think I can get the rest of it off with just using this pair of pliers to pull on it 
go. And we're just going to tear this battery wrap on off. Okay, now always double check. I'm going to go ahead and put this back into the battery case for safety right now. But always check your insulator. Now we can see that there's a little bit of marking on the insulator here. Nothing major, but we're going to go ahead and replace this anyways. Uh, but if you notice any charring, any little singe spots, uh, which would be indicative of a short uh, in your mod that's causing your batteries to arc just a little bit, uh, definitely replace the insulator. I'm going to go ahead and replace it today just so you guys can see exactly how a insulator replacement is done in addition. So the wrap is trash. I'm going to go ahead and trash the insulator as well. Get rid of that. Now, while the battery is unwrapped, make sure that no metal comes anywhere close to it. I'm going to go ahead and get all of these metal tools just completely out of the way because I don't want to risk anything happening to it. Now, this is a ceramic rod. It's, the ceramic rod is non-conductive, so I can safely handle it around the battery itself uh, to point out the key points. Now, this center post here, this right here, is the positive terminal. All of the connecting pillars are also part of the positive terminal. Now you'll see a thin, thin layer of insulator that goes all the way around the outside edge and then from these outer rim all the way down is your negative. So all it takes is something metal to cross from this little bridge to that point and your battery will short out, it'll dead short and can possibly vent and cause damage to you. So be very, very careful that you don't cross, you know, that you don't cross the, uh, the terminals. You don't want to, uh, to risk a battery venting on you. So we're going to put that down for right now. And we're going to get one of our insulators. Like I said, these insulators can be bought at pretty much any place that carries battery wraps. Uh, Kidney Puncher carries them. Batwrap.com carries them. IMR, I think LI Ion carries them. Uh, if you, if you have a problem locating them, uh, by all means, put a comment down below and I will see if I can track some down for you. So now these particular insulators have an a adhesive back. Some will, some won't. Uh, I prefer the adhesive back ones. And all we're gonna do is just center it up onto the battery and just press down ever so lightly. And that's going to secure that insulator in place, which comes in extremely handy whenever we go to actually heat up the heat shrink uh, wrap uh, to uh, prevent it from flying off out of nowhere. Uh, also, while you've got the battery, uh, the battery wrap off, be sure to inspect your battery to make sure that there's no dings uh, or dents in the battery. Uh, that could cause a problem later down the line uh, where a rupture could happen. So always double check and make sure that there's no physical damage to the battery itself. And this one looks like it's in good shape. So we'll go ahead and, and proceed on with it and get this one rewrapped. Now I've got some pre-cut uh, battery wraps here. These are pre-cut a little bit on the long side. So what I like to do is I take my scissors and I literally cut off just like two millimeters straight across one of the ends. Uh, to allow for a better fit on the battery. So let's get that off to the side. And we're just going to open this up, spread it out, and just drop the battery inside. You want this battery wrap, or the battery to be centered within the wrap. So we've got about two millimeters or so, maybe about three millimeters, on each side uh, from the edge of the wrap down to the battery. So we're going to put that down. Now, I'm going to, I apologize in advance if the, uh, if the hair dryer drowns out the audio. Um, I, I don't know how well it's going to pick up. But all we're going to do is we're going to take the hair dryer. We're going to put it on medium heat. And hopefully we don't blow the fuse because it's notorious for blowing the fuse over here at the build station. And we're just going to work this. Uh, we're going to start off at one end and just work our way down and you'll see how that battery wrap is going to form in on itself. So here we go.
Now, depending on your hair dryer, it may take a little bit longer. I'm going to go ahead and crank this up to high heat just to speed up the process. And we see that that wrap is forming in nicely around the top. And we're just going to work our way down. And wrap in on the other side. Don't spend one, your time in one spot too long. You just want to get a nice even heating over it. Okay. And then just rub your terminals. And that's going to make sure that, uh, that you've got a nice smooth edge around the front and, uh, you know, the positive and negative terminal. And we can see that, uh, well, we've got just a small little bubble right there where it didn't quite shrink up. So we'll hit that again. Uh, but you want to make sure that your wrap is fully covering the edge of that insulator uh, to prevent any, uh, any sort of looseness coming in. We're going to hit this again real quick. If you hold the heat in one spot too long, it can and will split the wrap. So be wary of that. Okay, there we go. And we are all set up and ready. That one is done. We're gonna put that off to the side and we're gonna move on to the next one. Again, we're just going to split the wrap right here at the very end on the negative terminal. Always make sure that you work from the negative terminal to prevent uh, or lessen your chances of shorting out your battery. Okay, using the pliers, we're just gonna peel this back. There we go. Let's grab pull a little bit more with the pliers. Some of these come off easy, some of them don't. Just uh, be gentle with it. Uh, you don't want to jar the battery and risk uh, rupturing it. But this is not a difficult process. Uh, Anyone can, anyone can do it. It's, it's not difficult, and the safety of yourself and those around you uh, is more important than taking a few moments of your time to go through this process. Okay, so we're checking the battery. Battery looks good. I'm not seeing any noticeable dings or damage to it, so we're going to go ahead and proceed. I'm going to put that in there for right now until I get my insulator. Got the insulator, and I'm going to put this on the top, center it up. Okay, so that's all set and ready. And I'm going to get another wrap out. Again, on this particular one, I'm just going to cut off about two millimeters worth of wrap and just open it up. Oops. Let's try to open it from this other end. There we go. And we just slide our battery down in on top. Center it up. There we go. Making sure that we have about two millimeters or so at the top and the bottom. And we're going to hit it again with the hair dryer. Just kind of roll it around. The thicker the battery wrap, the more it's going to take to heat it and, uh, and do the shrinking process on it. So be wary of that. And again, we're just going to rub it on a hard surface just to make sure that those are nice and firmly seated at the positive and negative terminal. So those batteries are wrapped and ready to go. They're safe again. And I'm uh, gonna put them back in the battery carry case and those are ready to go. So let's go ahead and pop back up to the face cam. You saw how easy that was. It only took just a very short time to safely wrap these batteries and, uh, and have them prepped and ready to go. Um, don't be a news story, guys. Don't be the person that puts the batteries, 
you know, loose batteries in your pocket with your cha your loose change and your keys to where it can short those batteries out and cause it to vent and blow your pants off. Because that's basically what happens. Same thing goes for you ladies with your purses. Don't put loose batteries in your purse. Um, battery boxes are cheap. Invest in them. Keep yourself safe. I, I can't I, I can't stress that enough. And the same it's not just the batteries that we use. It, it's not just the 18650s. It's not just the 26650s. The same thing goes for nine volts, double A's, triple A's. This is not just a vape battery deal. This is batteries in general. So be safe. Don't become the next news story. And remember, it's not what you vape, but how you vape. I don't care if you're vaping a 0.1 or a 2 ohm coil. As long as it's safe and it satisfies you, that's all that matters. So with that being said, have a good one, enjoy, and vape safe.